Hey guys, it's Elisa from Elisa Beth Photography. First of all, I just wanted to say hello and um, tell you guys how amazed I am at the group and how amazing all of your um, photo composites have been. They're so inspiring to see and um, the whole thing is just very exciting. We're close to 2,000 people already and that's pretty awesome. Today, I just wanted to make a really quick video to um, show you guys how you can quickly and easily change the color of your borders that go around the templates. Or even um, you can apply the same uh, concept to your uh, templates if you have colored templates. So it's very easy to take one color border, even the ones that you have um, made on your own or if you've purchased them from me. And if you have purchased them from me, thank you so much for all your support. Um, if you have one color border, you will very easily and quickly be able to change the color in Photoshop. So here we go. So I have opened my happy birthday borders and I'm going to click open that folder again on the right hand side. And I like, I really like that blue one, but you know what? I'm curious how it would look if it was pink because maybe I photo, maybe I took a picture of a little girl. And it was her birthday so i click a button and now it's pink but wait i think i'd really rather do some black and white so i click a button and now it's black and white i like the blue one so i'm going to go back to that one to black and white but you know what what if i like the texture but i'd like to change the color of my border how do i do that there is an option there's actually many options the first option i'm going to show you is i'm going to press i'm going to i am right now on the blue border right in the layers panel where it says under happy birthday i am highlighted that blue border you have to make sure that you are um, that you have the correct layer that you're working on the correct layer when you do this and now i'm going to invert the layer that's control i was what happened before by accident control i or command i and what does that do that inverts the color of my layer so the opposite of blue is this funky looking orange color I'm not thrilled with that color but maybe you like it maybe it actually would match something <clears throat> that you'd be working with so um, notice that not only is the border um, color changed but so is the text color everything is inverted to the other side um, all right well maybe I do want to do something different to the blue this is how I would do it so that I am going to do this in a way that um, is non-destructible, meaning that I want to change the color of the border, but I might want to keep my options open and go back and change it back. So I'm going to press layer, new adjustment layer, and I'm going to go to hue saturation. I'm going to, to I'm going to uh, click use previous layer to create clipping mask. I want to clip this so I'm not changing the saturation of my entire photo, but just the saturation of this grid and press OK. And now I have a clipping mask attached to the blue photo and only the blue photo. So now what I'm going to do is I'm in my saturation, my hue saturation. I could just take the slider for hue and I can just slide it to the left. Oh, look at these nice colors to the all the way down. I can slide it all the way to the right. Get some more pretty colors. Oh, I really like that pink, but I think I'd like it to be a little more saturated so I can bring up the saturation. Oh, now it's, I think it's a little too saturated. Maybe I'll bring it down and make it really desaturated. So there's just a hint of the pink. Um, I'm going to bring my lightness, maybe my lightness down, maybe my lightness up, make it a little brighter. Bring my, I can even bring my saturation all the way down and <clears throat> just make it this nice gray color, which uh, you might like also. So let's say I keep it at this nice gray color, but oh, I, I think I'd like it to be the opposite. I can then once again, click on my blue, control or command I and invert it. And now I have more of a black and white look to it. No, but I want to go back. No, I didn't really want to do that. So control I am going back, take my hue saturation, bring my saturation back up. Maybe I want to go in and do a little bit more in the reds. So I go into my master, click over here, go into reds, and now I could change the hue of just really the red. Oh, it's not really doing much. 
So I'll bring up the saturation up and down. Okay, another thing you can do to change the color of your border, other than the invert, invert or hue saturation, I'm gonna delete that layer, is you can go back again to layer, adjustment layer, and then you can go to color balance. Again, I'm going to use previous layer to create a clipping mask. I want it clipped only the border. So I'm clipping it. And then I'm my um, color balance is up here on the right hand side. I could change it in this direction and that direction. I can really have a little bit more of just the mid-tones. I can change yellows, just the yellows, the blues. Um, maybe I want to just focus on the highlights a little more. Look at that, that's pretty actually. I like that color. Um, so this gives you a, a little bit more control in a different way. Um, let's say I decided, oh, I like this, but um, I want to see how it looks on the pink. So I'm going to shut off my um, my layer here, my pink layer. I'm going to take my uh, my hue my uh, color balance clipping mask, and I'm going to just bring it down to the pink layer. But wait, now see what happened was I brought it down, I laid it right on top of the pink mask, but everything changed. All the color balance changed. I didn't want to do that. So what I need to do is how I'm going to do this is I'm going to right click on color balance. And I'm gonna say, create clipping mask. And now I'm clipping that color balance to the pink layer and only the pink layer. So you'll see the pink layer was a, a softer pink. Now I have um, this bright pink, but I wanna change it to um, maybe something with a little bit more cyan in it. Um, maybe I wanna change a little bit more yellow into it. And that's how I would go about changing <coughs> the colors. I'm going to uh, show you one more thing, which I think is pretty cool. I'm going to open up the black and white layer. Close that one off. I think I'm getting a little um, bleed through over here because my my picture is a little bit larger and not shifted underneath the, the grid correctly. Let me see. I'm going back to my picture for a second. I'm going to press Control T into the photo, and I'm going to actually just bring the picture. I'm going to just play with it a little bit. I can do that with the with the uh, picture itself, or if that's not exactly working, um, then I can always go into the grid itself. Where's my grid? Oh, this is the grid. And I can also press Control T to change the size of the grid, of course. So it, it's not really working so well for you need to up the size of your grid a little bit or bring it down a little bit. That's always an option. And press enter. And actually, what I've, there we go. So I'm going to take this grid, transformed it a little bit. I'm going to press Control I, and I'm going to invert that grid. And now I have a full black and white opposite, where I have the white letters and the black grid. So that is why I didn't provide you with a variety of different colors. That's why I provided you only with three different textural types, because I knew that once you understood how to use the grids themselves and how to use um, the controls that you have in Photoshop, you can really make an endless amount of different colors and textures um, grids. So you have you know, a more textural pattern, you have a different textual pattern, and then you have the straight on black and white, which you can invert to make it white and black. Um, you can also play around with your opacity. Maybe you don't really want your grid to be fully black, but you'd like it to be a little bit less bold. So if you just played with, I'm just, all I'm doing is taking the opacity down and I'm bringing it way down. And now I really like that. I brought my opacity down. It sort of blends a little bit in with the picture. Now the kids are in focus are the focus. Um, so, so there you have another option to change uh, the opacity. You can also change the opacity, let's say in the pink one, same thing, bring it down, bring it down. Oh, now you have just like this really opaque pink color <clears throat> going around your border. 
And that is pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, you know where to hit me up on Facebook, Elisa Beth Photography, or of course at our Facebook group at Inside the Box Photography. Um, and uh, thanks for joining me today.